Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right, today we're going to play a little bit with some vinyl because you guys, a lot of people have vinyl, and I want to show you that you can use it with your card making. So we're going on. So I haven't finished making the first one yet, but I got most of the way. So the first thing I'm going to show you, and these are just all the pieces that I used. So we're going to make a little mini cards. So this is a card set. This is a four by four card, and you open it up. Hello, Danielle. And so this is eight inches by four by four, full and a half. And you have this little cute, cute mini card. These are perfect for like gift giving and just all different kinds of stuff. And a little sneaky peek. I have a my Halloween release coming very soon. So I've pre-sneaking you guys. It'll be coming in the store very, very soon. It'll be up by this weekend. It'll be up by Friday. So here is some of the cut apart cards. This is another one of the cut apart cards. Um, here's a couple of the other ones, sneaky of the little paper. You can see over here, a couple of the papers over here, and then a final sneak peek of the printable stamps that you guys can get, which will also turn into SVG files. So you can print them out and cut them with vinyl or on paper or however you want. So lots of options. It is coming on Friday. So this is your sneak peek on this. Hello, Nicole. So what I've done so far is I have just matted one of my little cut apart cards here, journal cards. It's a square card. I think they're fun. And place them in here. You can also use it for scrapbooking. You can use it for journaling. You can use it for like um, just up to really truly can do whatever. And I give it to you as a JPEG so you can size it down if you want to turn it into something smaller so it could fit in a planner or something. So lots of options. Hello from Belgium. I'm going to say your name wrong. I'm going to do my best. Beak, bike. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. <laughs> so it's just an easy little sentiment that is already pre-printed. You can put in there, you just print it off. And if you don't have a printer, you can always send off all of these PDF files and JCAM files. You can send them off to like Office Depot, Office Max, Walgreens, and they can print all that stuff for you. So if you don't have a home printer, that's what you can use. Okay, so what I've then done is we're just gonna mat this in black and I've already made the shaker element for this, which is the coffin. And the coffin comes from this stamp set, it's called Spooky Scary. And here you can see the coffin and we're gonna turn the skeleton bits, I've already die cut them out and look, they're on vinyl. So they're gonna go over top. So you're gonna, it's not gonna be just paper. So you're gonna kind of see through it, which I thought was fun. All right, so let me get that mess out of the way. And then we'll do the cauldron one together. We're gonna do this one together. So I've got that piece down and because it's a skeleton, I thought my fun little skeleton paper would just look awesome with it. So we're gonna stick these two pieces together now. So just a black mat. And I just love these little cards. Number one, they're fast and easy because smaller means that you don't have to do as much stuff on them to, to kind of fill them up, I guess is the best way to describe. And they're just a cute little card that you can give to somebody, which I think is fun. All right, next we're gonna place down our coffin. Now, this is a four by four card. And the cool thing about square cards is that you can make them any size you want. You can make it a three by three, a four by four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six. Um, it really sky is the limit. I liked the size of the four with the two elements. Ooh, that's really shiny. Oh, that's because I have this light on. <gasps> Let me turn this light off. That's better. <laughs> I had one extra light on that I didn't need to get rid of that shine. Um, I like the size of how this fit. And then there's also the cauldron, which we're gonna be using here on the other card. And I just like the way the cauldron fit on the four by four. And with one sheet of eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you cut one direction so it's eight, you flip it and you can get two four by four cards out of one eight and a half by 11. Oh, sorry, something's shifting in the background. And you still have some extra paper left over for mats and things like that. So we're gonna put this little guy on the side. So I love being able to get more than one card out. Oop, that's got a little extra sticky stuck to the side there. <laughs> so we're going to stick that there. Ta-da, little coffin in there. And I'll show you how to build the shaker because it's the same process when we're going to do the cauldron. So what I've already done and what we have here is I've taken, where's my vinyl? This is a metallic glitter white vinyl because, you know, skeletons or bones are white. So I went with white. And this is not a transparent. This is just a, for what's the word? It's not transparent. It's opaque. <laughs> so meaning you can't see through it. 
Some of the glitter we're going to use today is transparent, so that's kind of a fun way to use it both ways. I die cut it out with the vinyl, and I pulled all the extra pieces off. And so here you can see the skeleton bits. We got the main skeleton here, and then I decided to leave this as one giant piece intact because I thought this would be easier to die cut than separating it out. And so I just laid that next to it, ran the whole thing through on my little mini maker. We're going to do the cauldron together. I just kind of sped this part up. And then I put contact or my transfer tape all over that. So now I'm going to pull this off. And because I've die cut it, do I have all the bits? Yeah, I have all my bits. Here we go. Because I die cut it, it actually does cut all the way through the back of the vinyl. So when you get to this stage, just use your tool. These guys stayed, but the big skeleton, I still have the backing on there. So I just need to pull that backing off. There we go. So you can die cut vinyl with your die cuts. There is no reason not to use it. If you've got vinyl, use it. All right, so the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting apart my skeleton. The cool thing about keeping all these bits together is I'll just cut out the pieces as I need them. So I'm gonna place my first piece of my skeleton right here. And so this is transfer tape, which means all you have to do is kind of rub, 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 and then pull off and it'll stick the vinyl is more sticky than the transfer tape. And I could reuse this and we'll probably reuse that with our cauldron. Now I'm gonna do the first arm. So I'm just gonna, and I don't wanna, I don't have to do it this way. I'm just doing it this way so I don't screw up and um, over stick something that I don't wanna stick and then I have a hard time getting it off. So I'm gonna put my first arm here and it's totally cool that it's kind of coming out of the, um, the coffin. That's the word, the coffin however you want to do it. So we're going to just make sure you rub wherever you want to have it on there. Rub, rub. And these are three separate little bones here. So they're going to want to pull off. Stay, you little hand. Stay, munchkin. <laughs> it's a cute little hand. It just needs to stay put. There we go. And I'm going to kind of wrap the little finger around because these are stickers. So vinyl is a sticky factor. So it'll act as a sticker. Now we're going to take the other hand we go and so you can arrange this however you want I think I'm going to put his other arm uh, with his hand maybe going a little bit of a different direction because you don't have to make it that's the cool thing about this you can arrange them however you want so I'm going to come up maybe have him his arm a little closer to his body this time there we go and I already have all the shaker bits and everything in here so I'm going to pull this up you know how easy this is? And they're already stickered. That's the best part now. So because all these pieces are so tiny, the fact that they're already stickers because they're vinyl makes attaching this so much easier. I mean, it just really adds to the fun of the whole thing. And then we're going to put down leg bone. And I probably should have scooted my skeleton up because I wasn't thinking about the height here. So what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to put the first leg bone down and have it attached. I'm going to come in and kind of really butt the next leg bone down. So here I'm just putting one piece at a time because I was a little shortchanged. Get on there. There we go. And then I'm going to attach the foot even closer. So now I'm not going, ah, stick, 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 stick. Sometimes it likes to stick to, there we go. So now I'm not too shortchanged. You can still see all the skeleton leg on there. And then do the same thing here. Let's see, am I going to be, I think we'll just do it this way. We'll leave these ones attached. It's a little bit off because I should have scooted this whole thing up. I didn't guess my, and I'll attach his foot the same way to the other one and really attach it here. And there, look at that. Cute. So that's how you can use vinyl on your cards. So here is this fun little card. It's got a little shaker element on here. So you can see the shaker bits. They're all behind, and I put bats, and I put shank. So what I've stuck in here is I stuck these little stars and also these little green bits because I thought the green worked really well. And then also I pulled some bats. So these are little shaker sprinkles from Maker's Movement. This one's got bats and stars. You could just use this, but I like the green, kind of pop the green from the green on here and then a little bit of the green from in there just kind of tied it all together and then it's like kind of spooky inside so it's like bats and and stars and stuff it's kind of glittery a little bit in the background and then we could easily add in 
one of these. I think I'm going to do open if you dare, just because it's kind of fun. So we're going to add a little tag on this so we can come in and add this little stamp. So I think we're going to add it like right there. Open if you dare, but we'll do that at the end. I'm going to show you how to build the shaker card now. So what I've already done with one set is I have taken and I've cut out the acetate part. So now we're going to kind of start from the beginning. I've also taken, so for this acetate part, I used the larger die cut and cut that out. For this card, I have taken just black paper and I've die cut that out of black paper and I just threw away the middle part. I don't need that middle part because we're going to build everything on here. So I want to have a white. You could do a different color for inside, but I want to see white because we're going to be using transparent and I want it to have that kind of effect. The black wouldn't be as obvious to see the transparent part. But for the coffin, I wanted a black insert for the coffin. So I did um, add it on a black background. So we'll come back to those bits in a minute. So now what I need is I need the foam. So I'm gonna take the same piece, which is right here, and I'm gonna die cut that out with our foam. So this is the same thing I did with the coffin. Squeaky, squeaky. But it works great. <laughs> it works awesome. So you can use the same die to die cut everything out. Which I love. Makes shaker cards so simple. And I'm just using a double-sided foam that I have from Maker's Movement. I, you can get these at a couple of places. You can get it directly from Maker's Movement, but uh, um, Simon Says Stamp also has it as well. So you have that piece there. I save these because I use these on all different things. Hi, Wendy. Hello, hello. So we're going to pop this out because we don't need this piece. We just need the outside piece. My kids are busy at doing their schoolwork. I got one daughter who's on a Zoom right now. Hopefully my internet's not too completely. My other son, he's doing some of his homework and just kind of waiting because his last Zoom is not until later. So this piece and this piece we'll just save for later. Again, I save these for another time. Sorry, his, his chair is a bit squeaky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building my cauldron. So I'm going to take the back one side. Okay, this back side, the, the tape started coming off. So I'm going to go ahead and place... Now I want my cauldron to be at the bottom of here because we're going to give it bubbles and kind of a cool effect. So place my cauldron down and then decide, okay, what am I going to put inside my cauldron? What fun bits and things? So inside my cauldron, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to put some more, so just little fun things that you think that might be inside a witch's cauldron. And we're going to put stars. Oh, we're going to get serenaded. My son's going to be playing his clarinet here in a minute. So if you hear music, my son's doing band right now for at home. So we're going to have clarinet serenades. So these are two different, actually three different shaker um, elements. This one is from the mixed drinks and so it's like from our martini and, and margarita version this one's the milky way so it also has outer space hence the stars and this is the hocus pocus excuse me <coughs> i didn't mean to do that and i'm going to grab some of the bats out of here i just think they're fun so we're going to have a little bit of bats so you can mix and match throw a star in there a couple of fun stars you know, some circles. I mean, this is like a witch's cauldron, so you can have pretty much put whatever the heck you want in there. I, I think we're good. I don't want to overdo it. So there is our cauldron, right? I'm a little bit off-centered. Look, I, I didn't center that quite right. I'm a little bit off, but what it is, I didn't put it on there just the way I wanted to. It's okay. We'll survive. And then I have my acetate, and I've already taken the corner of it, and pulled up the edge. Ah, it's gonna stick now. Don't stick, don't stick. Oh, so every day, there goes the dog to go with the clarinet. He sings along. <laughs> it's so funny. So my son, I've tried to find the best time. Here we go, I'm pulling off the extra acetate. He plays his clarinet and the dog, while the clarinet's happening, he somehow like he th I don't know if he thinks it's for him or what okay oh there's some static happening here look I'm super staticky to for to prevent that you could use either not have a super dry environment which we are so dry here um, I could use like a powder on here um, 
get off, get off, get off. Or you could also use like a dryer. <laughs> oh, are we going to get the, yep, there he goes again, the dog. <laughs> Sorry, a dryer sheet on top of that. So I'm just going to go really fast to try and negate and go as fast as I can. And unfortunately, some of these kind of turned upwards. So I'm just popping them down so they're laying flat because the stars, the tip of the star, there we go. And then there is our little shaker bit. Yay, with our little bats and stuff in there. It is fun, fun, fun. But you can put whatever you like in your shakers. And then I have my cauldron topper. So that way it looks like a cauldron. And I'm really annoyed that I put this on kind of sideways and not centered, but... I can't change it now. It's stuck on there. So I'm going to pull this through. My sticker maker, it turns everything into a sticker, which is so nice because then I don't have to worry about getting glue. It just speeds the whole process up. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So we got serenaded by the dog and the clarinet. I'm sure there's going to be more coming. That was just the beginning of it. So always loads of fun in this house there's always something happening around here with three kids doing zooms and schoolwork and then me working <laughs> it's never dull let me tell you all right so this is the beginning of that so now what we're going to do is we're going to build kind of cleaning up some trash so in our set so in this is for the, the skeleton set for the cauldron set you also get little bits for bubbles and I'm going to leave these together. So we're going to do these bubbles. There's also a larger and a smaller. I haven't pulled these apart yet. And I don't know, think I'm going to at this moment. I'm just going to use these ones. And so you get all these little bits. And so these are like bubbles coming out. And then this is like it's bubbling over and oozing over. And that's where I thought I would use this really cool vinyl is for all these bubbles. You could do it in paper. Um, I just thought the vinyl with the glitteriness would just look really, really pretty. Hello, Claudia. Hello. We got people from all over. Man, got all kinds of, I love this internationalness. This is awesome. So I want to do the part that bubbles down. So this, if you can see, it looks like it's got, this is going to go right here. So it looks like it's coming out. And then this comes up the top of it, right? So it's like bubbling over. And then I thought I would add maybe a bubble down here. I was debating doing these bubbles. That's why I put the cauldron all the way at the bottom because I wanted to be able to put these bubbles here. So I've got two different colors of green. These are transparent and this is just a transparent flat green. Oh, there goes the clarinet again. And maybe I'll do one bubble. I don't think I'm going to. I'll do all of them and I'll, I'll decide what I want to do. And there goes the dog to sing with it. I can't tell if he's singing with it or if he's annoyed by the clarinet. Whatever it is, it's funny. I think it's just amusing. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? It is so funny every single time too. It's a daily occurrence. <laughs> Singing away. Okay, I'm gonna do the darker bubbles. I'm trying to decide. All right, I'm gonna do the bubble bubbles in the flat. And then I, th I don't think I'm gonna use, I was debating, do I wanna use the light or not? And I don't think so. I think I'm gonna use the darker color for all of this. So I'll save this for another time or something. So this is a great way to use up some scraps of your vinyl that you may have left over. So let's move all that stuff out of the way. Come in here. Run your vinyl through just like it's paper with your die cuts. Whatever little scraps. Again, if you don't have vinyl, paper works just as good. I love the kind of the glitteriness of this whole thing. And then here's our three circles. So let me get these back on my sheet here so I don't lose them. That would not be fun to lose because those are such small. There's also three stars that comes with a cauldron set as well. The cauldron set is called Witch Please. And I love the stamps that come with it too. So it says Witch Please Double Double Toil and Trouble. Do you guys remember what that comes from? Famous play. Happy Halloween. I put a spell on you. So I love those ones. Kudos if you can remember what Double Double Boil and Trouble comes from. There's more to it. Um, there's a little hint. I've added more to it in here. Fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. 
Never done vinyl. Oh, vinyl's fun, and you can use it for so many different things. Sorry, we're getting a serenade with my son here, so please enjoy the uh, clarinet musings in the background. He didn't know you were getting a multicultural, multi-experience. The dog going me. <laughs> it's life as it is right now. I tell you that. All right. So with the vinyl, what I do is I take off the parts I don't want anymore. So all this, I leave behind the parts I do want. So. If that works, <laughs> there we go. Ah, no, it's still going to stick. There we go. So, oh, see this little guy just wants to pop out. So this is another way you can do it. Just pop out the parts. The skeleton stayed kind of intact. So you can just pop out the pieces you don't need. And then I am going to grab that transfer tape. I have a leftover transfer tape. I'm going to just stick it on there and then flip it over. And then we're gonna peel off the backing that we don't need anymore. So. Right now, this is not sticky because it's got that backing. So that, that plastic backing on the background or whatever backing it is. Oh, now we're getting into trills. There it is. So we just pull those off. These little tools are super handy for this. If you don't have any of these little, um, a thumbtack would work, but these tools make life so simple. And then just get rid of these. They're sticking to the transfer tape. There we go. So let's put the bubbles on first. No, let's save the bubbles. Let's put the little, this part on first. And again, they're already sticky, so it saves you a ton of trouble. I'm gonna grab another section of transfer tape. And you know what, since I have lots of pieces, because I was cutting them all apart earlier with the skeleton, I am just going to use two separate pieces to save the headache. There we go. Transfer sticky side up. That's the key thing here. And flip it over and we're going to take off the backing part right here. So this one's still transparent, so you can still see through it, but it's glittery transparent, which I think is really pretty. So I thought the transparent stuff would look awesome because even though it's on here, you can still see through to the shaker card because this is see-through as well. So I thought that it would just be kind of like a fun thing. So we're going to put this here. There goes the dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have a. Uh, I wonder if, and uh, we're trying to figure out if it's certain notes that the dog reacts to. <laughs> he was all sleepy. Yeah, but then my son started playing. All right, so we have the first layer. Again, it's sticky. So you guys can see this. It's really fun. See that glitteriness on there? And then we're going to add the second bit, which is going to go right in here. And then just transfer that. So you got the bubbliness. Because look how cool that is. Isn't that fun? So it's just another way of using, and it just it's a cool effect. And it looks like it's bubbly and glisteny. Look at that. Isn't that cool? My dog, I swear, he's a character. All right, so now we're gonna add in, I'm gonna do, let's do a bubble here. I don't know, do I just wanna add the bubbles at the top? So I definitely wanna, should I do, I'm debating, I keep changing my mind. Do one bubble there. I think here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a big bubble, but I'm gonna fold it over. So there's that. And maybe I'll do a little bubble down here. You can always add more. So now you get so a little bubble down here, and I'm just going to fold this guy over. So it's, it's kind of coming off the page. So you just really kind of add some extra to there. Your dogs bark at the TV. That's so funny. <laughs> he's working. He's got my son, the clarinet player, upstairs. Like the head is up and he's howling. I mean, it's pretty amusing. To... <laughs> you go, dog. I'm going to call it singing. I think my dog is singing. <laughs> oh, Major, you're okay. Yeah, he's looking at me like, what? What? I'm singing. What? <laughs> Are you done? You, you're finished? Okay. 
So you can obviously have a ton of fun back to card making here for a minute <laughs> interlude. <laughs> so you can have fun. Oh, I was telling you about my son. He, um, he's got a, his first like mastery checkoff for one of his pieces. And so the, the part that you're hearing him play is the part that he's having struggling with a little bit. He hasn't quite mastered that. So this background paper here is, you love my lives. Well, it's an entertaining live today. I'll tell you that for sure. We are not dull in this house. <laughs> this is one of the new background papers that goes with the collection. Um, and the collection is called Haunt It. It'll be ready on Friday. So a little super sneak peek about what's coming. And then I'm going to put my, actually, I'm going to just put the adhesive on this side. And remember, see, we folded that little guy over. So that's going to go right here. Get that vinyl out if you have it. Um, but if you don't have vinyl, I think any kind of glittery thing, I just made it super fun and easy to stick on there. Just lots of fun. <laughs> it's not dull, that's for sure. So he's practicing, my son is practicing his uh, piece that he has to play for his uh, teacher, for his grade, so that they get a grade for it. Normally they'd be doing it in school, but they're not in school, so. Oh, he's gonna go again. And then this is one of the cutout pieces right here that comes with the set as well. <laughs> it happens every day and it still cracks me up that it, it does that. And so we're gonna place this piece on the inside. So here is our little cauldron card. And then here is our little skeleton card. And let's finish the stamp. So the skeleton, I used a, this is all transparent vinyl, glittery and just matte, or not matte, but just no glitter. And then this one is an opaque, so that way you could still see the skeleton. I don't think we could get away with a white transparent, because <laughs> it would just be clear. <laughs> I can only laugh at the dog. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't time videos. Either I timed it awesome because it's making it super entertaining for everybody or it's really annoying for everybody. I'm not sure <laughs> which way it is. Go figure. <laughs> oh, we have to find good times to do things around here. But yeah, it's entertaining. So let's add our little stamp. So we're going to add a couple little stamps here. While we're listening to the dog singing to us. So I have some leftover bits of white paper. And... The Witch Please, this set goes with this. And this one here, this one says I need a quick nap. I'm going to do Open If You Dare. Oh, I need my stamp block. A little handy dandy stamp block. And then I already have my ink here. And we're just going to stamp, hand stamp this one right here. Here we go, open if you dare. And then over here, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to put anything on this one, if it needs something or not, I haven't decided. So from here, we're just gonna cut this out. You could get your paper trimmer if you wanted to. I'm just gonna hand do it. Major, you crack me up. You go, dog. Open if you do. I think I'm going to back that on. I think I'm going to back it on some of my green paper. I think that would look kind of fun. Just a little pop of another color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my adhesive right here. And I got it on my table. Ugh. And I don't think I would add it. If I was going to add one, I think. But it, I don't think it's going to fit with the vibe of the card. If this was a true like a two size card and I had more room, I would just put it probably below it as a sentiment, but the little square cards leaves you less room to play with, which means that just a little bit and you get a lot accomplished. You don't have to overdo it um, and to get across. So for this, I'm gonna put, we're gonna go in this corner right here and kind of play with all the little dots. You can see the dots. You could just do it in black as well. And make sure you put it on straight, not crooked like I just did. Straight is always good. There we go. So straight. And then we're going to cut. I'm using the dots as my help for where I'm cutting. So as my guide. Hey, look, it's quiet in the background all of a sudden. If I don't like it, I can always change it. But 
like, no, I like that. I think that looks good. And just a little open if you dare, just right there. I almost kind of want to tuck this underneath. But I, if I lift that up, which I do, I'll, I'll lift things up and retape, but it's going to mess up the shaker bit. So we're just going to put an open if you dare right there. So here it is. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. There it is. There's our pretty little cards. Fun, fun, fun. Lots of fun. They're just, they're, they're fun. They're easy. Well, easy in terms of fact, they're smaller, so they're a little more compact. But even the shaker elements are not hard to do. You just, it's this, the cool thing about the, the process that they've put together for a maker's movement and all the little shaker cards is that once you've done it once, even though the shapes change, you can still just redo them, redo them, redo them because they're all the same concept about what parts you're cutting out. So here is our first card. And so nobody mentioned it came from Macbeth. So this quote came from Macbeth and it's double, double, doyle, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron bubble. It's the beginning of the poem. Um, it's actually a song that is sung in Macbeth. And so it gets used quite a bit in when it comes to cauldrons and stuff in Halloween. And I just I love that. It's just it's a fun little thing. And this one is our skeleton with our vinyl here. We had our vinyl over here. It says open if you dare. Skeleton background paper and the green dot paper are two of the eight, and I did 10, I think I did yeah, 10 sheets um, that come with my new release. And on the inside, this is one of the cut cards and it says, have a happy Halloween. And I put the little skeletons on there as well to kind of tie it all together. So fun little cards, little three by threes. Again, square cards are so, so simple because you just cut However, like if this is four, just double the size for length and fold in half. And again, you can have it open this direction. You can have it open whatever direction you want. You can really play around with that and have a blast. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Links for supplies are down in the information section. As always, please give this video a thumbs up, especially if you enjoyed the dog serenade with the clarinet. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and thank you for bearing with the uh, the clarinet and dog serenade. I hope you enjoyed our, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to decide what a good time is from now on because I think this is happening at noon and from here on out. So thank you guys so much. Be safe. Have fun. I'll see you guys again later. Bye, everybody.